<clears throat> all right, Shalom Wong. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Excuse me, coming to you with another lesson, Lord Witness Edifying. And this lesson is mainly going to be on the uproars of the people centered around what's going on with Hamas and the state of Israel. Because this thing is 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 uh kicking off prophecy, man. All right, uh, what does the scripture say? Uh, at the end it shall speak and not lie, you know. So the words of Yahweh Bashawasha are laying hold to the planet Earth, man. Okay. And there's no coincidence, there's no happenstance that these things are occurring in this time. Matter of fact, <clears throat> let's get that book of Habakkuk. Or Habakkuk. <clears throat> Make sure we share. Okay. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. And I'm going to start at the top. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So the Lord has set up watchmen, all right, that shall never hold their peace day or night. And what the watchmen are doing, they're peering out at the prophecies, man. All right. Looking at different news articles, you know, different um, outlets that push forth the things in the planet Earth and is being matched with prophecy. It says, verse two, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run the read of it, right? Make it plain upon tables that he may run the read of it, right? Now, I haven't looked this up before. <laughs> Let's look up this word tables just real quick. I want to see what it says. <clears throat> Strong with H, 3871. Says a board, tablet. Excuse me, slab, tablet, plank, tablets of stone, boards of wood, plate of, of metal, right? Let's see. To glisten a tablet as polished of stone, wood, or metal, board, plate, ta table. Let's see if it has a root word. Nope, that is the word, right? But what it said, make it plain upon tables, is basically going into these scriptures, man. All right. It says Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, and that's what we're witnessing. The prophecies are not tarry. They're speaking loud and clear, man. All right, and we're making these things plain upon tables. All right, that you may run their read of it, man. Start with our head apostles and elders. These things have been made plain unto us, right? What is that? Uh, Sirach thirty nine uh, and twenty four, I believe. As his ways are plain unto the holy. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So they can't come into the council. Why? Because they don't believe, man. Even with all the things being shown forth on the planet Earth, they still don't believe. So I have two videos and an article. We'll play the videos first. And then we'll get the article. And we'll get the precepts and close it out. Okay? So let's go.
Are you still interested in a solar power generator? The Israel-Hamas war stoking protests across the U.S. at various college campuses. In the Northeast, a pro-Palestinian demonstration at Brooklyn College. And at Columbia University, massive crowds as supporters of both Israel and Palestinians held competing protests. In the nation's capital, American University students gathering in solidarity with Israel. The horror has reached an unimaginable level. While supporters of Palestinians made their presence known. It's scary. I mean, I walked up here with my flag on and I instantly took it off because, you know, people are telling you to be careful. At UNC Chapel Hill, tensions boiling between supporters of the two sides. Arizona State University Students for Justice in Palestine holding a rally today outside the student union one day after the school's Halal Jewish organization held a vigil in support of Israel. The school acknowledging the distress and concern caused by the week's events in a statement. But some Jewish students say it doesn't go far enough. There was no real statement saying what happened was wrong, which I think is stressing out a lot of the Jewish students. A war of words also playing out in statements from student groups and universities' leadership. The University of Florida president issuing a viral statement saying in part, quote, there is no defense for terrorism. This shouldn't be hard. The NYU Law Student Bar Association president possibly out of a campus title and future job offer at a law firm for writing Israel bears full responsibility for Hamas's attack in a weekly bulletin, leaving some of the school's Jewish community on edge. I've honestly been avoiding campus. I didn't go to class this afternoon. The Student Bar Association voting to start the president's removal process as a result, and NYU condemning the terrorist attack on Israel in a statement. At Harvard, it's Palestinian solidarity groups initially releasing a joint statement holding the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all the unfolding violence. At the end of the day, this is a group that seeks the destruction of the Jewish race, and it's not the right time to be um, issuing a pro-Palestinian statement. Backlash quickly ensued. A professor posting a photo of a truck driving around campus showing photos, which he redacted, of some of the students who signed the statement. Some groups formally apologizing and retracting their signatures while over 4,000 members of the Harvard community signed a counter statement. There's a lot of like tension, a lot of people have missed class. Harvard's president condemning the terrorist atrocities perpetuated by Hamas, emphasizing that the student body does not speak for Harvard University. I feel like Harvard um, very visibly and loudly stood by Israel, but I don't hear the same frustration for the, the blood that's been shed for the Palestinians. Students across the country wondering whose voices will be loudest. Valerie Castro joins us now from our studios in New York. Valerie. We <clears throat> See, the students are clashing in these various cities, all right, in the U.S., okay? And you have protesters, matter of fact. Let's go to the next clip. Generative AI is, is not. <laughs> and you see the contrast. Why you have a, 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 a fucking Edomite with tears in the eyes with a pro-Palestine, uh, you know, thing being acknowledged? The propaganda is ridiculous. No one in Gaza is okay. My family are all in Gaza and none of them are okay. For me to have to now say to the world that, you know, remember that we are human beings. I think that message, we're at a point in time where 
I can't believe that we're here. So it's an oppression that's been going on for decades. So that's why people are angry. But it, it doesn't mean that people condone Hamas in the slightest. Because being pro-Palestine doesn't mean that you're anti-Semitic. And I think that's really important to stress. All right, you see, man, uproars of the people in the world. Shit is getting bad out here, man. And it's only going to intensify. It's only going to get worse. All right, thus said the Bible. All right, these are certain signs that our Lord said to look for before it's coming. Now, I want to get this article. <clears throat> Let me pull it up. And what's interesting is the words that they use. <clears throat> and El Apostle Ramla had went into this word. Um, I would say middle of the year last year, I believe, you know, it sure is presenting. There it is. All right. And now this is from endtimeheadlines.org. It says tipping point, right? Over 50 K pro Palestine protesters take to the streets of london which is that video we just viewed all right done by the guardian now let's get this word tipping point <clears throat> all right now from wikipedia <clears throat> it says and that looks like a uh actual book but let's get the definition let's do this all right tipping point it says the point at which a series of small changes or incidents becomes significant enough to cause a larger or more important change. So the the verbiage that they're trying to say uh, in this article is that this is just the beginning. It's supposed to call a significant change, right? It's significant enough to cause a larger or important change. And let's go down. It says, what is the meaning of the tipping point, right? It says, meaning of tipping point in English, the time at which a change or effect cannot be stopped. See that? <laughs> so guess what? The prophecies are not going to be stopped, man. They're going to uh, blossom into its perfection until all hell is going on, you know? And then the return of our Lord is going to pop up on the scene, right? Matter of fact. Let's get that before we get into this article. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 1. See, it says, signs of Hamashiach's return, right? Matthew 24 and 1. And Yahweh went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Speaking of the what? The temple, right? And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. 
when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Yeah, so the disciples were inquiring, basically, when the kingdom of heaven is going to be established on the earth, man. Right? And you go into this word world, aeon or eon, which is a, a period of time, all right, an unbroken age, basically the, the time in which Esau has to rule, <clears throat> right? It says, verse 4, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What are we seeing now, man? All right, Ukraine and Russia, Hamas and Israel. All right, you have the uh, the rumor of Taiwan and China, right? South Korea and North Korea, right? Those are rumors of wars. Hey, uh, North Korea and America, right? It says, see, she be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. It's, hey, we just had to cuss, man. You know, it says, for a nation shall rise against nation. Are you seeing it? And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So these people rising up against each other are uh, uh, a form of a uh, uh, uproar, man, right? People uh, not being uh, satisfied with what's going on in the world. Whatever, well, they're, they're voicing their displeasure, right? It says, all these, see, all these are the beginning of sorrow, see? It's just at the beginning, man. It's going to get a whole lot worse before it get better. Let's go back to that article. <coughs> Excuse me. It says tipping point. Now we have a good understanding of that, that, that phrase tipping point. Over 50K pro-Palestinian protesters take to the streets of London. And that's something you want to see, you know, let or less 10 years ago or, or, or 20 years ago, you know. It says flares and bottles were thrown at police. Now, none of that was mentioned in that uh, video, though, right? It says flares, flares and bottles were thrown at police at a pro-Palestine march in London amid heightening tensions in Israel and Gaza. Cops arrested seven people as up to 50,000 demonstrators were warned to avoid the Israel embassy in Kingston High Street on Saturday. According to the Sun, the Metro Police deployed more than 1,000 officers to patrol the area, which, excuse me, during the, the march, around 50,000 people in London alone were estimated to have marched in solidarity with Palestine and demanding Israel stop its bombing of Gaza. See? So we're right there at the cusp, man. Right? Uproars of the people in the world. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, yeah, we're seeing all those things occur, man. Right? Those earthquakes that just happened. All right, it was that, um, and it's just so many. You got two to happen in Oregon. Uh, one in Afghanistan, uh, one earlier this year in Turkey, right? And, and numerous other tr tremors that has been going on in the planet, man. See, all these are signs of your house shall returning, man. Right? It says, therefore thou 
excuse me, my lay aside it. It says, therefore, when thou shall be seen, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? Prophecy. Okay. It says, for like all that is made in the world, have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, just like we read in Habakkuk. At the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tear away for it, because it's going to surely come to pass, man. Right? What is that? Uh, then will I show these tokens? I want to see. Is it second? Is it six? Let's take a look. <clears throat> um, yep, yep, yep. This is it. Second Ezra shot is called all y'all by Shadow Stack chapter six and verse eighteen. And it said, Behold, the days come, which is what? Prophecy. That I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, we read instances of the Lord drawing nigh and visiting those that dwell upon the earth, right? And we begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. Slacky, let me read this from the top again. And we'll begin to make inquisition. What is that inquisition? Prolonged, intense questioning, right? Of them, what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled. Well, how is the Lord making inquisition? Through his men, right? Through these certain articles, these certain things shooting forth, right? Well, the Lord is now has Esau on the scopes, man, right? And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. Yeah, what world? This current eon, this current age, Esau's rulership. Then will I show these tokens. And the, excuse me, the books shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together. So the prophecies are being pushed forth, man. Okay, and everybody is seeing all together, man. You see, it's just a matter of time before the things come into his uh, perfection, right? <clears throat> what do I want? Um, let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 21. It's speaking more on those uproars, right? Luke. St. Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. Again, the return of Hamashiach. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Yeah, we just went through a ring of fire eclipse. All right, over the United States. Those are signs in the sun and in the moon. And in the stars and upon earth distress of nations. You see that? And upon earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. See that? So, what are we seeing, man? The uproars of the people in the world, which is a telltale sign of the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? And you're not seeing the words being prolonged. They're actually coming to pass. Let's close it out here. Ezekiel. Chapter 12 and verse 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of times that are afar off. Yeah, that's what our people believe, man. These things are not going to come to pass in their time, but little do they know they're, they're showing forth every day, right? Therefore, say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power, 
there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord power. Right. So that's what we're witnessing, man. The words of your how about shall shall be pushed forth into the planet Earth. So much so you can't deny it, man. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. One of your all praise, honor, and glory too. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming next to you another lesson. Till the next time, I say Shalom, DTA, and a Bible ball soon. Shalom.